Hey guys. Today um, I want to go over a time-lapse video of a painting that I did. Um, it's this one here. It's an oil painting um, of a photo that I took in my parents' backyard last year. Um, I've been trying to do one painting a week as of September 2017. I'm trying just to get better at being more consistent with my artwork and um, having a solid body of work that's in the same theme and working towards a goal. So for September, my um, my theme of choice uh, was skies, and it was in, um, inspired by a painting I did over the summer, which I have over here. It's much smaller. Some purple clouds. This was mostly from memory. But anyway, the time lapse I'll be going over today is um, of this one, and it's heavily, like I definitely painted from photograph, so, but I don't feel as bad because it's my photograph, but still, um, the goal eventually is to be able to paint clouds without having to rely so heavily on reference. Um, I'll do a little bit of a voice over it as I go through, and then um, if you have any questions, just uh, let me know in the comments. Thanks. Enjoy. All right. So, as I said before, um, this was painted in oils. Um, I'm painting with Rembrandt, Gamblin, and PBO paints. I use both solvent and linseed oil, but because I'm still really new to oil painting and I come from an acrylic background, I still have no real idea what I'm doing or how to use these tools exactly. I'm learning as I go along and I'm learning a lot from friends and watching other painters, uh, by watching other painters too. Alright, so I started with a wash of cobalt blue and solvent. I spread it out onto the canvas, which is like a regular store-bought 16x20. Um, it came pre-gessoed. Um, I didn't apply anything to it before I started. So, I heard from a few friends that you're supposed to layer oils thin to thick, so I've been trying that out. For this painting, it really helped um, for the background to dry faster by doing it really thin at first. And then later on, I just went with pretty much pure paint to get uh, to the clouds. Um, to get the sky to look darker in some corners, I just used a large brush with less solvent and blended it in. And then I tried to match the lightest colors from the photo onto the canvas, mostly the yellows and whites. Um, I immediately jumped into doing the darkest darks after that, which usually I wouldn't go about it this way, but since I was copying a photo, it sort of ended up being a dance between lights and darks and then blending them with the third brush. I usually have at least two brushes on the go at all times uh, of the same sizes, one for lighter colors and another one for darks, and sometimes one with no paint on it to blend stuff. Um, the hardest thing about this painting that I don't feel I actually captured very well was how the sun really lit up the inside of the cloud, this brilliant orange yellow that made the rest of it look like it was glowing. I don't think I achieved that, but I am still happy with the overall composition and palette. For the actual clouds, I didn't use any solvent, but at times I used a little bit of linseed oil. Um, to be honest, it was more just as an experiment. I don't really know when to use it. or It seems to thin it out and make it dry slower, so I'm not too sure when I'm... Yeah, I, I don't know. I use it sometimes, just to see. Um, for the darker areas of the clouds, I mostly stuck to ultramarine blue mixed with the cobalt from the sky and some permanent red to make it darker. I finished the painting in two sessions, about six and a half hours total. The first session consisted of putting down the larger bodies of color, and then the second session was mostly just getting in there with the tiny brushes and adding small details. I was copying a photo, so it was a bit tedious, and I was really nitpicky at first about getting it to look exactly like the photo. But once I realized that I had already achieved the look of clouds from standing far away, like I decided it was finished because it doesn't really matter if you spend 20 more hours on a painting, if from far away it still looks like what you wanted it to look like, so I didn't feel it was really worth the time spending all that extra effort making it look basically the same from far away. It's definitely something I'm finding really difficult, but no one will really be able to appreciate a ton of extra time spent on a painting. So, I mean, that's why I decided the piece was pretty much finished, well, at least the background, after six hours. Um, once I made that decision, though, um, and for the sake of staying on target with one painting per week, I added the foreground. And um, the foreground is mostly like a Bob Ross style of application of trees, meaning quickly dabbed on and relying on the texture of my bristles to make the shapes of the trees. 
for the trees themselves and the clay structure, I used a mix of ultramarine blue and permanent red, the same that I put in the clouds as shadows um, earlier. And there it is, there's the final product. Thanks so much for watching. This is my second painting time-lapse video, but I plan on making more very soon. I post primarily on Facebook and Instagram with works in progress and updates, so be sure to follow me on there for those. I'm really new to the whole YouTube thing, so I guess you can subscribe to my channel if you want to see more time-lapse videos in the future once I make them. Thanks again!